I help digging. Okay. Right, yeah. I with this. Right, yeah, it's kind of going Well, that's almost in half already. Ah, perfect. Yeah, and that you can use for the roof. You know, yeah. Things like, like that. For the um, garage, for the workshop. Yeah. Oh, careful. You okay? Yeah. So Nebbiolo from Mangay. Nebbiolo is the great, and Mangay is the down. So uh, it's just in Piemonte, the other side of Torino. So we're going to give a nice one. You want to do it? I know you can yeah, do it. Right, I'll do it. Um. But in the first week we had like the next month or so. You, where are you at the place? In Como. In Como? Yeah. Oh right, yeah. So that's touristy. Wait, touristy. but not your... Not the house, no. no. So have you have, oh, you have another house too in Como? Yeah. We have an apartment in Como and the house in Massa. Alright. Oh, the city drive. Como. Oh no, yeah. I get it. Yeah. And when did you buy that? We rent it. 
we um, we built oh, a supplement it tonight. Yeah. yeah. Two years ago. We um you're, you're okay with that? Yeah. Good. Yeah, we went and had a chat with him. Because Leo, um, my girlfriend lost her job in February. Mm. So uh Yeah, I got them from a sawmill, they're like a four euro a piece. Okay. Uh, it's uh, acacia. Yeah. You know the tree? Yeah, I think right. so, yeah. The guy said they stay good for a hundred years. Oh yeah? Well, let's hope we can put it <laughs> to the test, eh? Well, even if they say 20 years, they can say what they want, because exactly, you never have yeah. to come back. <clears throat> it's definitely not a hundred years in the ground, but I think we should uh, debark them. Yeah. They'll, they'll be better and then we have to store them for a bit. Let them dry out a bit. Yeah, it's Good very thing. wet from the last days. They've yeah. been lying outside as well. You can see they've been they're quite mossy. Yeah. So. Satisfying. Yeah. Um, might be good to have this on the side of the road actually. Yeah, give it a go. All right. It's quite soft because of it's wet. Right. Yeah. I would go down to the kind of like white a bit. Yeah, oh no, this bit. Yeah. It's probably still bark.
First potatoes coming through. They might have suffered a bit because it's been very cold the last two weeks. Um, this is all going to be strawberries. Strawberries are very invasive, so I'm going to let them overtake. There's still mint in there and chives. Maybe I'll add something here, but not much. It's going to be another, maybe a few pots for another bed. Greenhouse will be here. I can pick up some old windows from uh, someone who renovated this house and he had a lot of old windows left over with frame and double glazing so maybe pick those up on Friday but I want to finish inside because it's now a mess in the bedroom I just want to have it finished before I start with jobs here
a lot of things. Yeah? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Look at this one. This is a very common plant that you find near abandoned cabins in the Alps, uh, where there are pastures, and it's called Kenopodium bonus Henricus. Henricus comes from the name of King Henry. Anyways, this is one of the many wild spinach that you find in the Italian Alps. It's a great edible plant. We forage the leaves, which have this typical flower on the bottom side. You can feel it. And we just cook them like spinach. They're very nutritious. This one is really good as well. This is in the same family as celery, you know? Yeah. And it tastes kind of similar. Yes. Imperatoria obstruzium. We call it Imperatoria. It's very good raw, but also cooked. I'm not sure, but I think this one is, um, we don't eat it, but I think this one is a very beautiful plant that is called Calta Palustris. Palustris means that it grows in this situation where you have running water, but very, very wet. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> oh dear! Well, it's not the same. I can see the news tomorrow. 
famous YouTuber and forager of the black guy. Let's see if we like this one. What's that? You're gonna taste it first. Because I want to see your face and then I'm gonna cut it. Oh yeah. How do you? It reminds me of something, but mm -hmm. yeah. I don't know what. Good idea. So it's spicy, peppery. Yeah, pepper. Yeah. So this is nasturtium. It's commonly called watercress. Mhm. Mm All oh, right. So you know that. Yeah. And it grows by the running water, and it's great when we eat it raw, in a salad, or we can make a sauce with it. Mayonnaise. Do you know mayonnaise? Yes, yeah. I recently made it, but that's what oh, really? they, they add this to it. You can add it, so it's going to become more peppery. Which one is that? Yeah. This is spruce, Picea abies. This is my favorite time of the year is when spruce tops are ready. Because you see there, these young needles and they're just green and soft. The flavor is amazing and they are packed with vitamin C, more than a lemon. No. Seating spot. It's a dead end. <laughs> Sometimes there's ferns growing in the cracks of these kind of rocks. This licorice root fern that I was yeah. telling you about. All but right. not now. Not That's here. Yeah. It's just a beautiful rock. This is a fascinating lichen. I don't know the name. Yeah. It's almost like coral. Yes, it looks like coral. Thorn tree. Yes, this is this is considered a magical plant. You know, it was illegal <laughs> to cut it down because it was believed that fairies live in these kind of bushes. Oh. Yeah, it is wonderful. We can eat the young leaves, and they're actually known as um, bread and cheese <laughs> because children in the past used to eat them as a snack when they were out playing and 
it's about to bloom and with the flowers we can dry them and we can use them for herbal teas it's very good for the heart yeah. it's calming relaxing this is not gonna smell a lot yet but when it's in full bloom it smells like corpse like dead meat Ooh. <laughs> And that's the strategy actually, to attract pollinators that are not bees, but more like flies and, you know, pollinators that are attracted by... Oh, that, 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 that like that meat. Yeah. Yes. So... These are so smart. Yeah. And because of that, it was believed that these plant was associate, associated with uh, death. Right. You know? So, for example, uh, Jesus Christ's crown yeah. was believed to be made of hawthorn branches. It also what do you mean, has these spikes. kind of? Yeah. This one doesn't have. Oh, this one has. Spikes. Yes, it does. It does on the on the younger branches because it's the one the plant has to defend from herbivores. So it grows spikes, and yeah. then they're not necessary anymore. So they just rot. That's a strategy for everything. Nothing is casual. Yeah, because you were saying earlier, the, um, what was that called that creates the scent? Yeah, so what we call flavor and scent and medicine, that's actually the active compounds of the plant. So it's what a plant must produce in order to survive in the wild. Right. Because it cannot move, it is not cultivated, so nobody cares for it yeah so she has to develop some strategies and that's what we call active compounds which turn into essential oils and other flavors oh you like it i do like it yeah <laughs> i'm eating it shouldn't eat too much otherwise i'll uh I'll be full. Large rose, like, oh, yeah, beautiful.
Yeah, so my best work. So. <laughs> That's great. Something. Those were windows for the greenhouse. Uh, they came to drop them off. They were from an old house, about 30, 40 years old, so it's hard to sell them. So, gonna be a small greenhouse over there. I have to see how I'm gonna build it. I haven't made drawings yet, but um, might make start next week or in the coming weeks. Lots going on this week. The 10 deck area is cleaned up I need to move some more soil up there so I can make it flat and then seed grass fences uh, coming along I need to pick up more poles I need to dry a bit before I can place them bedroom is almost finished yeah there's gonna be various jobs going on this summer outside work inside work there's no specific uh, order anymore. Like yet last year I wanted to focus on being inside in the cabin, but now the workshop maybe starts at some point, but the building permit is still waiting for things. There's still no solution yet. Uh, so maybe a bit of gardening. Yeah, 
We'll see. You know, there's no no pressure anymore, which is which is nice.